Hey everyone, in this FC24 How to Change Practice Arena player video, I'm going to show you exactly that. The first thing you need to do is pick the team who has the player that you want to control in the practice arena. And remember, compared to FIFA 23, you can now have multiple players in the practice arena at once. Don't have to, but you can do. So to change the team, you need to go up to the cog top left hand side of the home menu. Select that and you want to find your profile. So there's my profile there. Jump into that, have a little look at your profile manager and it's here where you have your favorite team. And all you need to do is pick the team that you want to control in the practice arena here. So if I select it, I could choose a different team here. Uh, I could also go for a different country on the top bar here and also a different league if we wanted to look at the championship, for example, and go with the team down here we could do if we wanted. If you don't want to do that, you can hit B to go back and it won't save it. But if you hit A on that team, it will select it and change your favorite team to that. You can also change your rival there as well if you want. But let's come back out of here and I want to talk about one thing, which is if your player is not in the starting 11, as at the time of the team sheets that were created in FC24, you may need to adjust them as well. You can do that if you hit back out there and go to team sheets, uh, you can do this. So for example, this team sheet that I've got for Liverpool, Nunez is sitting as the center striker, but by default, Gakpo is sitting there. So what it, that would look like is this. So when you look at it, if you've not touched the team sheet, it should look like that as at the time of making this video. So if you wanted to swap Gakpo for Nunez, you simply move over to Gakpo with your left stick, select him with A, move over to Nunez and select him there, and he is in the starting 11. So that means we can now use him in the practice arena. All right, so let's back out and have a little look at that practice arena and just talk about how that works. I also want to give you one slight bonus at the end, which is how to change the practice arena stadium as well, which is a bit hit and miss, but I'll explain how that works as well just at the end of the video. So practice arena, let's jump in there and show you how this works. So if you've been in here before, you may have a bunch of players on the pitch already, or you may only have a couple of players, but I'll show you how this system works so you can pick them. So if we have a little look on the pitch, one of the things that's frustrating is it's hard to see who is who. So you can get slightly closer by hitting the menu button and changing the camera angle to something up a little bit closer. But as far as I'm aware, you cannot have the names pop up above the players, which is a bit frustrating, but at least you can get some idea if you know what the player looks like in real life. So dynamic there is probably about the best one to see the players up close. If I just hit the resume button, now I can see who we've got on the pitch here and debate who I want to remove or add. So if you just hover over a player, you, you'll get different controls. So X, um, if we hit that, does nothing to initially. You can add a player if there's no one there. So that looks like Salah's just been added to the pitch possibly. Um, and if I want to remove him, I hit the B button. So X would be square on the PlayStation, B would be circle. So there indeed is Darwin Nunes. He's already on the pitch. Let's say he's not. Let's just remove everyone here just so you can see how the system works. So uh, what I'm going to do is just change that camera angle just so you can see the sideline a little easier as well. Uh, so let's go with that one. That'll do. Um, what will happen is if I go to add a player with X or square on the PlayStation, it'll be the next one highlighted in yellow. So if I do that, that next player, whoever the heck that is, is added there. I can't see who that is from here. Uh, and if we keep doing that, I think the third one along, I think that one is Darwin. So let's see. Yeah, that's Darwin there. I can just tell by his hair um, and the little tattoo on his arm. Um, and if you want to change the team to the other team, all you need to do is hit Y or triangle on the PlayStation, and then you can use exactly the same controls here, B to remove someone or circle on the PlayStation, X to add the next one in line, or go over to the pitch. If there's one right the way down here that you really want to add, you can select them there and then bring them onto the pitch and select them with A or X on the PlayStation. So that's those. Now, the other thing that you'll see on here, if we move across here, you can hold right trigger, by the way, or R2 to move that uh, point are a bit faster is the actual um, sort of team that you've got here if we move to a zoomed out look uh, let's see if there's one where we can see the stadium a little clearer that I think this is Liverpool that we're actually on in the minute <laughs> but none of the camera angles really show us there you go it is Liverpool so that one does um, so there's Anfield and uh, if we wanted to change that stadium that's the last little bonus I want to give you so if you just exit this uh, this is very hit and miss, but basically what you need to do is activate a game mode, go and play something and it will reset the starting player. So you can see we've still got the Liverpool squad on the starting um, screen here, 
but if we want to override that we need to go and play a game and then it will reset it to another team and the stadium in the background will be what is used for the practice arena so if we go to kickoff for example it doesn't matter what teams you pick the generation as far as i'm aware is entirely random on the home page so we'll just go with a classic match i'll pick an entirely different team just to prove to you that it is not doesn't govern what we've got so I doubt it'll pop up either of these on the home page, but we'll see. Luton versus Man United. Hit play the match, and then what we'll see, we can just skip this, hold down A or X on the PlayStation to skip that. Pause, end the match, and then that'll take you back to the menu that we were on previously. We back out, back out, back out with B or circle on the PlayStation. This is now updated to Man City, so we've got Haaland running on there. And if we now go into the practice arena, you'll see that it is indeed Man City's ground there that we've got there, the Etihad, and uh, everything is updated to that. And uh, that's how it works. So hopefully that helps you out on FC24, how to add uh, change player in practice arena. If it did, give us a thumbs up, please. That's much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. If you need any more help with the game, have a little look at the tutorial playlist up at the end of here. And uh, hopefully that helps you out. Anything else you need to know, hit me up with a comment. Thanks so much.